All right, so what I'm gonna be doing here is I've got a tarp. I believe this is seven feet by nine feet. This is one of the real heavy duty ones. And I'm going to make a little jig system here that I can attach this to my mower. If uh, you've seen some of my other time-lapse videos, I use these straps right here. These are just uh, straps you would see in the gym, like if you had a cable machine or something. These work phenomenal. But uh, those times where I have to really drag this tarp a long distance, I'm going to use the mower to do it. So there's no sense in uh, using my own power when I can uh, use the power of the mower if I have it with me. So. I basically just took, this is a uh, five feet, this is a five foot piece of three quarter inch electrical conduit. You can use PVC if you want, but it's not going to be strong, as strong. I believe this is a little cheaper and it's far more durable. So the idea is that I'm going to take some eye bolts. By the way, I got all this at Home Depot. These are just five sixteenths by three and a quarter eye bolts. I'm gonna have one uh, probably there, one there. And then I've got some regular bolts that I'll attach. So there's four grommets that we're gonna be attaching this to. And uh, so the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure this is pretty much centered where I want it to be. It doesn't have to be perfect, but um, I'm going to roll this over and mark it and then drill all four holes. All right, so the next step uh, is to attach the conduit to the tarp here. Now we have to have a way to connect the eyelets to the mower. So I have a piece of chain and basically I'm going to connect the chain to the tarp with the uh, these are just quarter inch quick links they're rated for 880 pounds which is more than sufficient for this so I'll um, tighten it up a little later. This piece of chain right here is just going to be a single piece and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to take one more of these, one more of these I just used and we're going to attach it to the chain that we've got on our tarp which this chain will also stay here so there's no need to use a carabiner. I'm going to use this spring. It's called a uh, just a spring loaded um, spring link. This is a 3 8 by 3 and a half inch. This was also now this is a 250 working pound unit but I'm sure that the rating is so low because um, they're accounting for the uh, spring right here. The force is going to be pulling here and here, not against this spring. So, but I'm just going to uh, open this up like this. We'll attach this and then I'll hook this uh, to the mower. Just like that. And what this is going to allow us to do is we will be able to pull as much as the mower can pull as much as the tarp will handle and we'll keep it straight and flat now the only other thing that we have to worry about is that the uh, tarp is going to get wore out pretty quickly if we're dragging it over concrete so i have some older big tarps which i don't really use too much anymore so what i'll do is i'll throw this on the ground and I'll put this tarp over and I'm just going to take the two tarps and I'll probably use some some small spring clamps just 
on that corner and that corner right there so that the force of the tarp dragging will all be on here. And I don't care if this, this is already getting torn up, I don't care. Um, this is a super heavy duty tarp, but you know, they're more expensive. So I'm gonna let the older tarps be the sacrificial ones. So instead of throwing them away, you can repurpose them. So anyway, uh, hopefully uh, you guys will find some benefit in this. If I get a video of me uh, using this soon, I will uh, I'll put it on the video because I think it's going to work out real well. Where am I going to attach this? Um, let me show you that. Let me take this camera off. Try to find it. And I'm going to attach this. I I had a uh, one only wanted a single chain so that it. When I'm walking, my feet wouldn't hit it. And I'm just gonna attach it to this pin right here on the ghost slide. There's a lot of places I could attach it to the mower, but that'll be fine. And uh, the chain will come out about four feet. So when I am walking along, chain will be going between my feet and it will be about a foot and a half back. So it won't get, it won't get in my way and my feet won't get tangled up. So. Otherwise, um, if I didn't want to do it that way, if you're not using a walk-behind mower, you probably get away with just using the, uh, the one chain, but I think this will work real fun. All right, so uh, I guess the next video clip you'll see will be hopefully of uh, this tarp in action.